Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to discuss about problem on projections of solid. Especially it is a two stage problem which is related to the cone. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. A cone of base diameter 50 mm and axis length 60 mm is placed with a generator parallel to HP. So it should be noted over here, the cone is placed with a generator parallel to HP and 15 mm above HP. Draw its projections when the axis is parallel to HP. As we have discussed in earlier problem also, there are basically three stages for the projection of solid and these are the maximum three stages required to solve the problem related to the projections of solid. Let's start with the stage one. Here you have to assume the axis is perpendicular to HP or perpendicular to VP of the solid. Here the solid is a cone. So you have to assume the axis perpendicular to HP or axis is perpendicular to VP once again, that depends on the given description. Next, in second stage, you have to assume the axis is either inclined to HP or inclined to VP. Keep in mind, if in the first stage you have assumed axis is perpendicular to HP, then definitely in the second stage it must be inclined to HP. Similarly, if in the first stage you have assumed the axis is perpendicular to VP, then in the second stage it must be inclined to VP. Here, see in the description, it is given to you a cone of base diameter 50 mm is placed with a generator parallel to HP. So, let's see the position of the cone with respect to horizontal plane and vertical plane. So here you can see this is the base of the cone and this is the apex point and here I have assumed the base is on HP so that the axis of the cone is perpendicular to HP in the first stage. So here I have assumed the axis is perpendicular to HP and so that in the second stage it must be inclined to HP that means axis is inclined to HP in the second stage such that the generator of the cone is parallel to HP. So here you can see these are actually the generators. There are actually infinite generators in case of cone. Generator that means line on the lateral surface which is joining any one point from the base to the apex point. So there are lots of generators you can assume. So in the front view, you can see two generators and in the second stage, we are going to incline the axis of the cone is like this, so that this generator that is parallel to HP, here you can see the generator is parallel to HP that is given to you. So this is your second stage where axis is inclined to HP and generator must be 15 mm above HP. It is like this. Here generator that is actually parallel to HP but it is 15 mm above HP also. So once again this is the first stage where we have assumed axis is perpendicular to HP and in the second stage the axis is inclined to HP such that the generator here you can see that is parallel to HP and 15 mm above HP also. So now consider the stage number one. If you see in the front direction, then you can see the shade of the cone is like this. It is like as a triangle. So this is the front view of the cone. If you see from the top direction, then you can see the base of the cone as a circle. Here we have assumed the axis is perpendicular to HP. So here you can see 
axis is perpendicular to HP in the first stage. So you should start from the top view. Then you have to draw the front view. Then you have to replace the front view. Once again, draw the projection. Then you have to replace it. Once again, draw the projection. So these are the sequence that you should follow if you assume the axis is perpendicular to HP in the first stage. If you assume the axis is perpendicular to VP like this, then you should draw first the front view, then top view, and you should follow in this sequence. So here we have assumed the axis is perpendicular to HP. So we are going to follow this sequence. So let's start from the top view that is always below XY. Then we will draw the front view. So first draw the reference line XY. Now draw the top view that is actually circle here you can see. In that circle you can draw with the help of the compass. Now give the name of the center of the circle as O, draw the projection so that you will get the base for the front view over here on the XY line. And this is the axis line. The height of the axis is given to you as 60 mm. So you should mark over here 60 mm and so that you can draw this front view. This is the center line and the height is given to you in the description. So you should mention it. Similarly, the diameter is given to you. So you can mention over here 550. Now divide the circle into eight or trial equal parts. So here I have divided this circle into the eight equal parts. Give the name. So it is A next B next C then D, E, F, G, H. Here I have given the number in anti-clockwise direction, but you can give the number in clockwise direction also. Now draw the projection and so that you can draw this line. So these are actually the generators. Now keep in mind, this is the first stage. Here you have to draw the circle as a dark line. Don't draw this inside edges as the dark. Similarly over here, only draw the outer line as the dark for this front view. That means the triangle only. Don't draw inside line as a dark line. Because of once again you know that these are actually the generator, not the real edges. So here you can understand A point is there, so it must be a dash. Similarly, you can give the name as B dash, next C dash, D dash, E dash, next F dash, G dash and H dash. You know that this is a front view, so it must be with the dash. Here O, so it must be O dash. So this is the first stage. Now, in the second stage, you have to incline the axis such that the generator is parallel to HP and 15 mm above HP. So it is like this. You have to replace this view over here such that this O dash E dash must be parallel to HP. That means you can say parallel to XY line and 15 mm above HP. So here you can see 15 mm above HP. So first you have to draw this line. That means you have to draw this reference line which is 15 mm above this XY line and transfer this distance O dash E dash on this line with the help of the compass. Because of here you have to replace this view such that O dash E dash is parallel to XY. So first you can transfer this O dash E dash over here on this line with the help of the compass and then you can transfer this all distance over here with the help of the compass by making O dash E dash as a reference line. If you have any doubt to transfer this view over here, then you can refer my earlier video where I have shown how you can transfer this view from the first stage to the second stage with the help of the compass. And then draw the 
vertical projection and from here horizontal projection so that you will get this view. Now very simple, always your outer line should be the dark, so this should be the dark, only you should think about that this curve that means from C1 to G1, whether it should be dotted or full. So once again that is very simple to decide whether it is full or dotted. So see carefully over here. For this view the position of the observer is here. If the observer is over here then you can visualize this point that means A point. And so that A point is the visible point. And definitely if A point is visible point then curve passing through the A1 point or line passing through the A1 point must be the full line. So definitely it should be the full line. So very simple. The observer is over here for this top view and from this direction A1 is the visible point and so that line or curve passing through this A1 point must be full. So it must be the full curve. Keep in mind once again, here you know that base is actually the circle. So here this is actually the base, so it should be smooth curve. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.